For ACUSports.com, I'm Chris Macaluso, and with me on this blustery afternoon in West Texas is head track and field coach Lance Bingham. And coach, um, outdoor season is just a, a week old, and um, already your team is ready to host its first outdoor meet of the season, the West Kitley Invitational. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what teams are coming to Abilene uh, this Friday and Saturday? Well, the Division One teams will be Texas Tech and Oral Roberts University, and then we have West Texas A&M, uh, San Angelo State, Our Angelo State University, um, Western Texas is also bringing a group. So it should be a, a good, not real large meet, but really good quality. Some really quality runners are going to be here this weekend. And it's a two-day meet uh, compared to one day as we've had here in the past. This is the third edition of the Kitley Invitational. It's two days because for the first time uh, you guys um, have enough entrance for to do the multi-events, uh, decathlon and heptathlon. Yeah, we're doing the multi starting tomorrow, and then we're also going to have uh, some of the distance races. Hopefully it's not this windy when we're trying to, <laughs> those distance runners, they'll be running around, running around and getting blown over by the wind. But uh, so we have the 5 and 10K tomorrow night, as well as the multis and the discus throw. We're also going to contest the discus throw because we're supposed to have a good prevailing wind for the discus. Now, you guys uh, got your outdoor season started last week at TCU, and uh, I think me and a lot of uh, the fans of the track and field program couldn't help but notice that uh, uh, so many of your talented distance runners and throwers are, are redshirting this outdoor season. Um, give us a little bit of the, the reasoning behind that, and then if you could, too, just uh, you know, even though there's all that talent redshirting, um, tell us who, who to keep an eye out for this weekend. Well, certainly we we have the the Hackett twins there, Michaela and Allie Hackett. They're red shirt and Diana, uh, so that's some quality distance runners uh, certainly there. On the women's side, also we have the throwers, Kayla Melger and uh, and Lene are both Lene Smith are both red shirting, and we're red shirting some of those because they have a chance to go postseason next year. We want to give them uh, that opportunity to post possibly go to the NCAA uh, uh, track meet. On the guys' side, we have uh, Kai Morgan, uh, both redshirting. Um, I may be forgetting one or two, but but we're we're still pretty solid in some areas. Our men's four by four, you know, those young guys, Avery Williams, Ryan Linton, uh, Lee Andrew, those guys are uh, you know running well. And I expect some a lot of good things from them. Uh, last weekend, Ryan Cleary ran a really good 800 for an opener. Uh, Drew Cummings PR'd in the 1500. That was a good performance on the women's side. Uh, Char Hurt, Charticia, Chartia uh, Hurt ran well. Uh, Kinsey, uh, Kinsey Mascaro vaulted. She looked like she she just barely missed a school record. Uh, just I mean she just barely missed that bar. And so we expect some great things from her as well. So we're we're excited about the ones that are here. Even though we have some that are red shirt, and don't forget about the ones that are competing for us. Uh, they're going to do well. That's right, Coach. Thanks so much. And if you're in the area this weekend, come on out to the West Kitley Invitational. It's going to get started Friday in the early afternoon with the multi-events, uh, throws, and then some late-night distance events, and then um, running events Saturday start about noontime. So please come and join us out at Elmer Gray Stadium for uh, two days of uh, fun competition against some great D1 teams from Texas Tech and Oral Roberts. For head coach Lance Bingham, I'm Chris Macaluso for acusports.com.